Sorry, folks, I got so caught up in doing this that, um, well, yeah, we're going to go ahead and continue this, continue this bit from, well, last Thursday. Thank you. Sorry. <sighs> I mean, sure, I considered investigating it and getting rid of it in case it turned out to be something dangerous, though so bizarre and all. But I felt, but I had the slightest idea how to go about it, so I said just keep an eye on the thing. Not to mention, David told me I was ever better off leaving it alone. By the way, keep you up to date. Uh, we're on our way to Sky Boulder. Um, uh, we're taking on a bunch of berserkers. I'm using Zerka Musashi, uh, Hokusai, and oh, regular, regular foreigner Hokusai, and Abigail. <clears throat> Don't dismiss something before you see its true nature, huh? True. If I did, I'd be no better than Arjuna. It was the same with me. I don't know what it was, so I couldn't do anything about it. I could see that giant tree in the queue no matter where I went, but I had no more pressing matters to attend to. Rather than bother with something I knew nothing about, I figured my time would be better spent helping people here who have been led astray by this unjust god. That is very admirable of you, but are you sure it's okay to leave, to leave that village unattended? They should be fine during the during the early Yugas, especially while there are barely any Kali around. <coughs> <coughs> they have weapons now. If they were hastily assembled, I've taught them how to fight as best I can. They should be able to handle themselves in a pinch. The only thing I'm worried about right now are the sacred... There. It's another pack of sacred beasts, Master. Let's hide away from the pass again. Hmm. It's not just sacred beasts. There's something else there next to the road. Wait, is that a person? I'm not picking any of vital signs. I'm afraid it's a dead body. Perhaps it died of disease or an accident. Why are you going over to it? Damn, we're too late. Body's disappearing. So you didn't know then? So you didn't know then? So you didn't know then? That's one of this world's mistakes. Sacred beasts purify the bodies of anyone who happens to die unexpectedly. My guess is the false god thinks, in de thinks dead bodies don't belong on the world and wants them gone as soon as possible. I see. So if this world was a single entity, the sacred beasts are the white blood cells of its immune system. So we can assume this world's god would be the, the head, the sacred beast would be its mi macrophages. Create a detect, isolate, and remove any foreign elements. So then, does that mean the Kali are they fight or something that, like a virus? Most intriguing. Whatever the case, people are people. When they die, they should be just, just be cleaned up like trash. Their karma should determine what they become in their next life. At least, that's what, my people, that's what my people believe. But that's what a true samsara cycle should be, is meant to be. Dang it, every time I read that, every time I read that word, it reminds me of uh, Shattered Samsara. Good video if you haven't seen it, check it out. We cremate dead bodies to free their souls and ensure they go on to their next life without, without issue. A little bit of side story. Um... For those of you who don't know, December 12, 2014, no, December, yeah, December 14th, 2014, my mother passed away, okay? They told us that we, well, my sister and I didn't have the means to do a, you know, a funeral kind of thing. So they said that we can turn over the body to the, to the county, okay? And now, keep that in mind what I'm about to tell you. <coughs> when, we were, when my sister and I were younger, our mother told us that in the event of her death, 
she did not want to be buried. She wanted to be cremated. Well, that's why that's where the cremated the cremated part made me think of. She wanted to be cremated. She basically said, "Don't put me in the ground. I want to be fish food." That's exactly. Those were exactly her exact. Those were exact words. So I I asked, "Well, what's what do you what do you do with the bodies?" And the person said, "Standard standard issue." of the, the disposal of remains in Los Angeles County is cremation. My sister and I looked at each other. We were like, perfect. That's exactly what, what our mom wanted. Thank you for listening. Let's, back, let's get back to it. <clears throat> but here, as long as they could be so around, nobody would be able to hold a proper cremation. If this world has no respect for the journey of the dead and no hope for those who are left behind, and there's nothing but a world of death. So that's why I consider about the sacred beast showing up in Deval. Because none of your none of our none of your elder had passed away. Right. He was an old man whose time had come. One of your one of your elder had passed away. He was an old man whose time had come. There's nothing but anyone could do about that. But he didn't want the false god stealing our right to give him a proper farewell. You really helped us out there. They're finally leaving. If they haven't already spotted you, then I would urge you to hold back for now. You're almost God's. You're almost a God's sky boulder, and I would very much prefer to avoid making a common commotion wherever possible. I know. I would have stopped it if I had found the body first. But as things stand now, my only choice is to let them go. <coughs> we should be okay for now. I'm certain the sacred beast can't detect us from this far away. Good. I'm glad I don't have to, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I don't have to sneeze while we're hiding. Let's go. Wow. I know she was cool and collected, but I know she has such a charming sense of humor. My, my, seeing it this close up really makes you realize just how big it actually is, isn't it? Doesn't it? Oh, I've got an idea. Why don't we take a little group photo to commemorate the occasion? Typical. Pepe! Is that a joke? Or are we just trying to avoid facing the reality of our situation? By the way, it wasn't funny. If you want to pick, go ahead and take take all the self as you want. Just don't come running to me if the whole thing turned to a jump scare. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. Oh, you guys are no fun. I was just trying to lighten the mood a little. So, um, these numbers we're seeing are accurate, right? Our senses aren't, aren't on the fritz or anything, right? That's right. We made it to the air, air, area near the queue without a problem, but... Yep. Where these, where'd all these Kali come from? Well, they were barely supposed to be in the, during the Kriti Yuga. I think it's the place, or not, I think it's the place, not the time. They're showing us they, though they've been here all, all along rather than coming from somewhere else. Be that as may, the sheer number of them is almost absurd. There are as many here as there were during the Kali Yuga, maybe even more. Hey, I've got an idea. Oh, just run away, run away. Seriously, you have a point. We can't invest a key with all these Kali around. Anything annoying since we just got here. If they surround us, we'll have nowhere to go. True, we can only take so many arrests when it comes to safety, and there's certainly nothing to be gained by attempting a complete and impossible goal. We're getting out of here now. Understood. We'll break through the collie behind us and make a run for it. Awaiting your orders, Master. <coughs> Sucks when you have a cold. We are trying to get over a cold. Okay. 
Huh. I got an idea. Well, I had an idea. I didn't really, didn't really think about it. Ah, dang it. Perfect timing. No, oh, so weaken this uh this other one here. Should target the other one. Oops. Ah. <laughs> 
It's gone. arrow thingies. <sighs> okay, I think that's enough distance between us and them. I never imagined there would be that many Kali of gathered there. I expect it might be dangerous, but with numbers like that, adding one more to our rank stone it won't be enough to fend them, off, fend them off. You don't have to rub it in. I wish my noble phantoms were capable of blasting them all away at once, too. My apologies. I wish I was not speaking sarcastically. I was merely reflecting on my failure to foresee a situation like this. <coughs> Let's see. That's right. No, I'm sorry. I was being oversensitive. While we're on the subject, this seems a good chance to tell you this. Naturally, I will do everything in my power to accomplish our mutual goal. I have no intention of holding back. But I should warn you for your own safety. You shouldn't expect me to come through when it really counts. I've never truly been able to accomplish the things that I'm, I'm, I most must wish to do. I most wish to do. That is just my lot in life. What a strange opinion you have of oneself. Perhaps a failure to defend your country and life has a fairly had a traumatic effect on her. Be that as may. There is no doubt whatsoever that you are far more useful in combat than a detective in a mere remote lo location. So I hope you will continue to aid us, continue to, to lend us to Miss, Miss Lari your aid. Of course I will. I'll be pleased if you trust me not that much. At any rate, there, were, there really were a ridiculous amount of Kali there. It lends the impression that it may be even more important to this lost belt than we thought. Indeed. It was as though those Kali were solely to, to, guard, to guard the Sky Vault there. The fact that we could no longer see them after putting them just a little distance between us and the Sky Vault would only seem to confirm that. I wonder what this could be. For that matter, we, should, we still don't know how, what those Kali, Kali demons actually are. I'm guessing Holmes are probably right in, that, right in that they are like a virus infecting this world in opposition to the sacred beasts. But still, we have not the slightest idea what they are, where they come from, or where they go. I don't know either, but I can say they're not any ordinary kind of creature. Even if they're, they stick around even after the world is remade, maybe our journey isn't as means to determine who is worth preserving. <clears throat> or maybe they just remain here out of necessity. If it's the latter, that would mean that they're a crucial part of the stage our dreams to run this world. <coughs> so if we defeat them, maybe they'll all just go poof. I guess it'd be interesting to figure out what to do with that what to do about Arjuna. At least we know that we know that God's sky was protected by vast numbers of Kali. It can't be approached lightly. It may not be much, but it's more than we know before, knew before. In the meantime, I suggest we return to Duval and plot our next course of action. All right, we're going back to the main screen, which means we're going back, probably going back to Duval. Oh, kind of the quartz, good. And some more of these arrowheaded malice. Oh, the return path, and that's uh, oh, looks like we're yeah, it looks like we're fighting more. Uh, more uh, Kali. Anyway, so that's going to be it for this video. Until next time, this is all Jazz saying thank you all for watching. Take care of yourselves.